welcome back to the part five series of how to create a body mesh with deadly sin. Today in part two, we're going to go over shaping, which is learning how to actually create the body shape. So without further ado, let's kick it over to deadly sin. Okay. After you're done with the, the cleanup phase, now it comes the part where we're going to attach those two parts together. We're going to make sure we merge the vertex in the middle here. So they're actually really attached together. So we're going to merge those vertexes. Make sure you put 0, 0, 1. So we only really merges uh, vertex on top of each other. And now we should simple test. Double click on the line to select all of it. And if we move up and down, we don't see any cuts in there. So it should be really good. So now the next phase is we're going to relax a little bit our mesh and this should clean up a little bit. So we should look at how the skin looks right now. As you can see, look at that. Just by relaxing, look at the difference of the shape itself. With this mesh cutter, it becomes more uh, skinny, but the real reason be behind this relaxing thing is um, how the topology looks like. Topology is the lines and the, the, the vertex and faces, everything included. Look how it looks way much better than uh, and more separated from each other, more spread out and more beautiful. And so we should always relax. So, for example, by doing this, we can have a little bit more muscular shoulders. And then with and playing with relax and just bother them like this, we can get some uh, cool results. I even without shaping and then applying as well, we can get uh, an overall result of entire modeling you're doing just like so so you can see by I can add more musculars m muscles or more flesh in this case by the just playing around with relax making everything look nice and just pulling some uh, polygons or vertex from at the poly uh, but we don't want to relax too much because then it gets skinny <laughs> so we're just gonna relax a little bit Now we had another poly and now pull those muscles back up. Maybe down. Maybe down. Always use a reference of a board. I'm using a reference of a board that I was given to for this tutorial. For this shape. So now I'm gonna teach you how we're gonna fix this. How we're gonna model the shape without uh, actually creating a new shape but just by using the EMV shape and making our own shape so we're gonna apply FFT box and then we're gonna modify this until we find the value that we're happy with it's gonna keep playing around so we need some stripes in there in the middle so the, the the strength doesn't go from one side to another this actually cuts the power of the vertex in the middle so we can only modify it from one vertex to another one like that see now i can make the shoulders bigger playing around a little bit just like that and this is how you model the body slowly uh, by changing those attributes and make sure you play around with uh, always with lines or vertex separating forces see because i didn't have those lines when i was moving the bicep up it was actually pushing the back of it as well so you should always be careful with those things um just tweaking and tweaking and this is pretty much how we're gonna do Pretty much entire body and the good thing about this way of working is that we can change as many times as we want even after the skinning which is pretty cool so that means we can just keep changing and changing until we're happy or the customer in this case is happy with the shape overall and of course you can always put uh, added poly on top of it and do some more uh, manually uh, let's say like that uh, modeling as well I'm going more for this natural looking guy. Trying to make it a little bit more robust. Look at that arm now, it's more muscular than it was before. But uh, I'm gonna delete this for now. This is just, just to show you what we're gonna be doing for now. 
and now uh, if, if you dream on copying it like this it won't work so be careful you, you can't copy from one side to another it, it doesn't work so I'm gonna show you right here for that to work you would actually need to move the gizmo off your FFT and, and uh, it's not a very good um, example because our bodies are not symmetrical so you should work on them separated so let's remove this for now and we can see little changes there let's take it off and uh, the breasts as well we can just simply come over here and make the just by selecting the front here uh, and pulling you can make breasts be careful with the selection the whole chest just like that and sometimes you don't need to fix the apology because again if you do this before the relax look at that so after you relax you actually fix it itself and uh, there you go so now the real deal is making this look exactly uh, the way we want so we're gonna start here with the belly important to keep uh, a good and clean selection since we made all these quads now it makes everything easy and smoother for us to work with so like that so now I apply the box and I play with the values until I find something I like and way overkill <laughs> so maybe we should put this something less just find something that looks natural, not many points. So in the middle, and now let's, let's lower it somewhere here. Now that's looking way much better. So since I want to make a belly and stuff on this guy, so I've got to work a little bit. There you go. Now it's it looks almost there. There you go. So after this, we click here, we click on control points, and now we start working exactly the same way we were playing with them. So like, I want, I want, I want this guy to look more natural. That the guy that doesn't, you know, goes to the gym too much. So we're making him a belly right there. Now the process is always the same thing, just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Just tweak until you're happy with your shape, but this is exactly how we're going to do for uh, every part of the body. There's not much for me to explain right now, it's just more uh, just watching. Just keep looking your shape from overall, keep tweaking and tweaking until you find something you like. Now we're adding a little bit of a belly and then make sure you always keep up with the volumes and uh, that's about it. Just keep tweaking your, you know, your, your shape until you're happy with the results. There's not much, um, and th this works for every part of your body, so. I'm just gonna leave you uh, with the tweaks for now and then I see you when all the tweaks are done. Enjoy watching.
All right, so that was part two. Hope you guys learned a lot on how to actually create the shape. Subscribe to our channel and to watch part three, click here. And make sure that you guys leave us a comment below on what you thought about part two. Thanks guys.